Alright, hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris Rose here, Mikey also here, and today we have another collection video. Oh yeah, and so today it is the DC minifigure collection. So uh, yeah, I'd like to say once again that I'm not showing off, I just wanted to uh, see what this all looks like together, and I figured I may as well record it. So okay, and also I'd like to note that some of these figures are custom, so not all of them are official releases, uh, but they're all purist customs, more or less, I think some of them have maybe some paints on them but other than that let's go ahead and get into it shall we okay so here we go we're starting off with this row which has uh... batman and then the second row will have some other minifigures but here we go this is the uh... batman that i'm using in season one of my batman series which i am still planning on doing of course uh... that's the one i'll be using in season two and here we go uh... the batman vs superman one isn't in here i think it's in my bat cave right now there's the uh, dark knight rises one uh, so, uh, yeah, you won't see that in this video. And going back over here, we've got the Arctic Batman, the, uh, Armored Suit Batman. We've got the, uh, Classic Robin, which is also custom, as you can see. I upgraded him a little bit, uh, and, uh, yeah, it's a different Robin. We've got the New 52, uh, Dick Grayson Robin. Um, we've got Jason Todd. We've got Damian Wayne. Now, I don't have, a uh, uh, Tim Drake Robin right now. Uh, that's actually why uh, that's being used right now. So yeah. And there's uh, Alfred hiding behind the bat wings right there. You've got the red night wing. You've got the blue night wing, which I really like. And I upgraded him. I gave him that hair piece, and I gave him the blue arms, which I thought worked well for him. Uh, we've got a custom printed red hood, which is really cool. Got that off of eBay. Uh, we've got uh, Clark Kent right there. And okay, let's move on to the next row. Just uh, slowly go by so you can see the Robins and stuff again. And okay, so there's the classic Superman. There's uh, the Man of Steel Superman. The uh, Batman vs. Superman Superman, uh, which has a different hairpiece because uh, the other one is being used for Tony Stark right now. We've got Superboy, Supergirl, Flash. <clears throat> We've got Batgirl there. We've got the two Wonder Womans, the classic one, the new 52 one. We've got uh, Aquaman right there and Green Lantern. And then on the back row, we'll go over there real quickly. We've got the Martian Manhunters. Uh, we've got some of the police coming up here. Commissioner Gordon and a couple of other policemen. And uh, yeah, that was the Heroes row. Just uh, quickly look over that real quickly. And uh, yeah, I just said quickly twice, so that's good. And okay, here we go. So here are the villains. Always fun. Okay, so here we go. So we've got the three Jokers. We've got the original Joker, and we've got the newer Jokers, including the one with the hat. The fedora, which I really like, which is pretty cool, if I do say so myself. We've got uh, Two-Face right there, Poison Ivy. We've got the two Harleys, as you can see right here. Uh, it's a little scuffed right there. I'm going to have to paint that, but that's okay. Uh, we've got uh, the Killer Croc right there. Or just Killer Croc, not the Killer Croc. Uh, we've got Mr. Freeze right there. I have the original Mr. Freeze, but he's not put together right now, so I might find all of his pieces and put him back together, but uh, yeah, maybe for another day. And then we've got uh, the Penguins. We've got Deadshot, which is one of my favorite minifigures in this row right here. And then here are some custom ones. This is Carmine Falcone or Falcone, whichever you prefer to call him. Um, we've got a Mobster right there. We've got a Street Fug, which uh, suspiciously looks like the Mandarin. <laughs> Got some more thugs right there. You've got the uh, Joker thugs. We've got Captain Demo, which is a custom minifigure. Which, if you're not familiar with him, he is a uh, Aquaman villain, and I made him for uh, the Batman series because that was before they released the Black Manta figure. But now Black Manta isn't instead of Demo Man, so I still have him together. Or not Demo Man, uh, Captain Demo. So uh, yeah, and we've got uh, Scarecrow along with a custom Jonathan Crane, which is loosely based off of the Dark Knight, uh, not the Dark Knight, the uh, Batman Begins one. Uh, that was before the hair that I used for Nightwing was out, um, well, in black. So uh, yeah, that is why he has that hair, and I probably would have given him the Nightwing hair, but uh, it's okay as is, I guess. And that is the Harry Potter head, if you're wondering, and that uses... Um, the night bus guy, the night bus driver, I think that's where the shirt came from. So yeah, if you're wondering, and okay. So here we've got the Riddlers. As you can see, I kind of customized them. Uh, I gave him the green hat, and I gave him the uh, white gray hats. 
I think that's how they were. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, I did that. Okay, there's the original Riddler, Jerry Lee Lake. And okay, back here are some minifigures that do not actually exist uh, in the Batman canon. That is because they are for my uh, Batman series. They are two assassins. I don't remember their names, but uh, it uses Thor's head right there, and you've got a head from, I believe, Indiana Jones. Okay, here are the two Banes. We've got the Dark Knight Rises Bane. You've got the Classic Bane. Uh, this isn't the Classic Classic Bane. This is the one from the newer Batcave uh, with the uh, drill machine. We've got a uh, Man Bat right there. Really cool. I like that. Uh, we've got a Lex Luthor um, henchman or whatever. We've got the Man himself, which has a different head, by the way. Uh, I think this head looks more like Lex Luthor, personally. And okay, so here is... Um, Catwoman, now as you can see, she has a different body right now. That is a different body, like I said before. Uh, I really liked it, so I just left it on there for now. But I still have the original one. Uh, this isn't the original one, like I said. Uh, this is the, uh, I think, 2012 version. So, okay. So here are the Two-Faced Fugs. I really like these guys as well. Pretty cool design. Brainiac right there. And in the back, we've got Bat Zaro from the uh, DVD or whatever. We've got uh, Raz al Ghul, or Ra's al Ghul, I should say. Um, which, this is his current version right now. This isn't going to be the final version I have. Uh, the other face that I have for him is being used for another minifigure, which I think is a custom Mandarin, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we've got a henchman right there, which is uh, basically just a uh, redesigned guy from Indiana Jones. Uh, we've got uh, a League of Assassins member right there in white kind of training garb right there and then uh, as you can see if you're not familiar with short round that is short rounds head underneath that so there you go and you've got the trickster which I'm not sure if he's a villain or not I cannot remember but I put him with the villains anyways so there you go and Captain Cold aka Mr. Freeze Bud Flash version okay so here we go and then this is one of my favorite minifigures that I've made this is Firefly loosely based off of the Arkham appearance uh, that he has in uh, Arkham Origins, Arkham, uh, Arkham Knights. So here we go. Uh, I might be showcasing this if you guys want. I'll just uh, show you guys the back. I really like what I was able to do here. This is for my uh, Batman series as well. He is in Season 2, and that episode is already written, so that's cool. And uh, yeah, I did some yellow just to give him some more uh, color, which I thought was pretty nice. And uh, yeah, this is the uh, also the Zod helmets. And I do have the Zod minifigure, of course, but he's not here because he does not have his hair currently, so that's cool. And okay, so here is Gorilla Grodd, and that is the last minifigure of this, uh, uh, yeah, this collection. So, alright, thank you guys so much for watching, we enjoyed this video, and once again, I'd like to say that I'm not showing off, I'm just like to, uh, show you guys my collection, not like, uh, hey, look at this, look at all these minifigures, yeah, like, just, you know, just, uh, I don't know, but anyways, okay. Like I said, if you want to see that in better detail, or how to build that, let me know and I will be, uh, I'll do that. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye! Oh, something I forgot to mention. Uh, Jurassic, or Troll Jurassic Park will be released on Halloween, so that you have something to look forward to, I guess. Uh, well, besides actually Halloween. So, alright, see you guys.